sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of kings. Sing the praises to our king. For he is the king. We sing. Sing the praises to our king. For he is the king. Sing the praises to our king. For he is the king. Sing. We sing the praises to our King. We sing the praises to our King. For He is the King. We sing the praises to our King. For He is the King of Kings. Sing the praises to our King. For He is the King. Give Him glory. For He is the King. Give Him glory. For He is the King. Give Him glory. He is the king. he is the king of give him glory. He is the for he is the king. king. We sing, we sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of kings. We sing the praises to our king. For he is One more the time. king. We sing, we sing the praises to our king. For he is the king of we kings. Sing. We sing the praises to our king. For he is the king. Give him glory. Yeah, please don't 
do it without Hallelujah. me, Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Don't do it Don't without do it. me. Can you help me say it, Lord? Oh, whatever, whatever you do. Be left out. Don't do it without me. Listen, Lord, if you're blessing, I know you are blessing in this season. Please don't do it without me. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't do it without me. Listen, Lord. If you're healing, I know, I know you're healing in this season. Please don't do it without me, Lord, Lord. Don't do it without Help me say, Lord, whatever, whatever you're doing in this season. Please don't do it without me. Don't without me, Lord. Don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Say the light. Don't do it without me. I don't want to be left out. Don't do it without me. If you're healing this season, don't do it without me. I know you're healing this season. Don't do it without me. I know you're blessing me in this season. I know you're healing in this season. Don't do it without me. I know you're saving in this season. Don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. One more time. Don't do it without me. Hallelujah. Oh, give God the highest praise. Without me. Because whatever you're doing, don't do it without me. Hallelujah. Lord, don't do it without me. We wish you a Merry Christmas and, and a Happy New Year. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a New Year. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I said, Merry Christmas, 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 in the Happy New Year, in the wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The Prince family wish you a Merry and a happy new year. The praise team wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. The praise team wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. Yeah, wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. Said Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. 
Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. You know, we serve a mighty good God that we can see another Christmas. And God has brought us together one more time. One more time to give Him the glory. Hallelujah. Let's stand up on our feet and give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Hallelujah. We talk about a mighty, mighty good God. You can sit down there. I just want you to praise God. Just a little while. Yeah. Just a little while. You know, even though it's Christmas. And you know, every time I think about it, we should make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye late, serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Praise the Lord. It is good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Oh, wise and eternal Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for another day that you let us to see, Lord. Thank you for another Christmas you let us to come together one more time. And Lord, we just want to say thank you. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Even though it's cold in here, let's, you know, if you move around, you'll get warmed up. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For the Spirit of God is here. Hallelujah. Let's move around. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Let God use you. Go ahead, y'all. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. You know, we have the issue in the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we have open selection by the gospel course. Announcement by Sister Minor. Scripture and prayer by me. And a poem by Connell Jackson. A music selection by James Bajard. Okay. Pray, and then we have praise dancing and the choir will sing. And most of all, the preach word and the benediction in that order. Thank you. Oh, 
got some change in the hand When your journey is completed If you got you have been true Then right back home in glory You're in rapture so Come on, clap those hands, everybody sing. Hold to his hand. Not done change in the hand. You are a whole God. You ought to be your home something. Turn. Everybody say hold to God. One more time. Everybody sing the whole. Singing God, you are a whole. Singing God, feel your Oh, to God's unchanged again to everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Hopefully you've had a wonderful day so far and will continue to enjoy the spirit of the Holy Spirit throughout the day. We welcome you to our Christmas morning service. We're glad to see so many out this morning. Yes. We welcome those of you who are on Zoom and on the conference line to our morning service. We have morning glory prayer on Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. So we're asking that you join us for morning uh, worship prayer. We are praying without ceasing for our sick and shut in members. We do have two sympathies to offer today. Uh, our prayers go out to the Pace family this morning on the loss of Brother Joseph Pace, lost his niece in Philadelphia last evening. And then one of our very own members, Sis Cora McGee, passed this morning. And we pray much for the family. Um, Brother Ronnie McGee would not like any um, visitors today. He said, give him a few moments to process, and then you may check in with him. But please, no visitors uh, today. We still have some COVID home tests available uh, in the back in the fellowship hall asking that if you would like a box, that you only take one box uh, per person. They're in the fellowship hall. Join us on Saturday evening for our New Year's Eve worship and praise service. We'll be having that here at um, 6 o'clock p.m. Praise and worship. We have our guest psalmist, Minister Leticia Watson, and our guest praise dancer, uh, Jalinda Lewis um, will be with us as well. So come out and join us for our New Year Eve celebration. And then at 11.55, connect on Zoom for our New Year's Eve prayer. At 11.55 on Saturday evening, join us for New Year's Eve prayer. We ask that you please save the date. Our quarterly meeting is coming up in January. Uh, January 14th at 9 o'clock a.m. And we will have our first workshop of the year, January 28th um, at 9 or is it 10? The workshop, I'm not sure. Okay, to be determined. And um, But join us on January 28th, Reverend Dr. Cheryl Avery Green of First Baptist Church in South Richmond will be our speaker. Thank you. Give me one second. I left the thank you cards. Yes, I.
We have such lovely thank you cards today. We have a thank you from, thank you to the youth ministry for the gloves, the candy and the gift card. And thank you Sunday school for the gift card. And this is from Corinne Ellis. And then we have another thank you card that says, thanks dear Sunday school and youth ministry. Thank you for everything that you've done. And I also thank you for the gift cards. Thank you, Youth Ministry, for the gift cards and the gloves from Johan Ellis. Amen. Okay. And thank you for all the kindness you bring to the world. Counterline Children's Ministry and Sunday School, thank you for the gift cards and the candy and the gloves. You guys are awesome. And this is from Morgan Buford. It's so good the young children still write cards. Yes. You really brighten my day. To the Countline Church family, we would like to express our sincere gratitude to all the visits and phone calls during the love of our loved one. Whatever you, your act of kindness will never be forgotten. And this is from the Pace and Ware family. And we thank you. And we say happy birthday to Sister Sarah Smith, who will celebrate her birthday tomorrow, December 26th, and Sister Joanne Price, December 28th. And we leave our thought for this week is for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. We take that from Isaiah 9, 6, and then from John 1, 29, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Have a blessed and wonderful week. Praise the Lord. I'm going to bring the same scripture that Sister Mina brought. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, we need that. The mighty God, the everlasting Father, and priest, Prince of Peace. Let us pray. All wise and eternal Father, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, for it could have been the other way, Lord. But, Lord, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For, oh, God, how you move, Lord. Your spirit moves, Lord. And, Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord. And, Lord, remember those, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, that lost their loved ones, Lord. But, Lord, we realize, Lord, hallelujah, you got all power in your hand, Lord. And, Lord, whatever you do, Lord, is all right. And oh God, we just want to say thank you, Lord. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, hallelujah for our pastor, Lord. How you touch his body, Lord. And oh God, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Oh God, how you touch many of us bodies, Lord. And Lord, just cause we just want to say thank you, Lord. And Lord, please forgive us of our sins, Lord. Oh God, our shortcomings, Lord. Oh God, hallelujah. Oh, God, you know our upbringing, Lord. You know our downfall, Lord. You know, Lord, all the things about us, Lord. And, oh, God, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Oh, God, move, Lord. Move what was not right, Lord. Move what's not right, Lord. Oh, God, hallelujah. Oh, God, we ask the Holy Spirit to come in right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, saturate our hearts, Lord. 
saturate our minds, Lord. Oh, God, you know all about us, Lord. Oh, God, we might come in with a smile on our faces, Lord. But down on the inside, Lord. Oh, God, you know behind the smile, Lord. But, oh, God, we give you the glory, Lord. And, Lord, we give you the praise, Lord. Oh, God, we just want to say thank you. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, thank you. Oh, God, you kept us in our right minds, Lord. Oh, God, you thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That you gave the activities of our lives, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That you didn't leave us alone, Lord. Oh, God, when we stumble and fell along the way, Lord. Oh, God, for we are not, have not dotted every eye. Lord, we have not crossed every T, Lord. But, Lord, you know. Hello, my share and my higher. Lord, you know, Lord. You know, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God, have your way in this place, Lord. Have your way, Lord, in our hearts. The love of she and the higher. Our hearts, Lord. Oh, God. Say to our hearts, Lord. Oh, God, as we go, get ready to go into a new year, Lord. But, Lord, let our hearts be right, Lord. Our hearts, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Help us to turn to you as never before, Lord. For we realize that time is winding up. Oh, God, play time is over, Lord. Oh, God, help us to be on bending knees to you, Lord. Oh, God, help us to forget those things which are behind us, Lord. Let us leave it behind us, Lord. Let us run this race as never before, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Lord, have your way. Oh, God, have your way, Lord. Oh, God, remember those, Lord, that the minds are confused this morning, Lord. They don't know where they are this morning, Lord. Oh, God, touch this mind, Lord. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. And, Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Oh, God, just bless the offering, Lord. Bless those who had to give, Lord. Bless those who didn't have to give, but, oh, God, they still can give you the glory and the honor. Still can praise you even though they don't have any money, Lord. Oh, God, just have your way, Lord. And Lord, just bless it, Lord, as never before. Let it be used to your glory and honor. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, please stand. Praise God from church and Merry Christmas to you all. Today I will be reading a poem called The True Meaning of Christmas. In today's day and time it's easy to lose sight of the true meaning of Christmas in one special night. When we go shopping we say how much will it cost and the true meaning of Christmas somehow becomes lost amidst the tinsel glitter 
in ribbons of gold. We forget about the child born on a night so cold. The children look for Santa in his big red sleigh, never thinking of the child whose bed was made of hay. In reality, when we look into the night sky, we don't see a sleigh, but a star burning bright and high. A faithful reminder of that night so long ago, and of the child we call Jesus, whose love the whole world would know. Thank you. Very, very nice. Very nice. Connell is a young college student, first year, doing well. Amen. It's my task to introduce our guest saxophonist this morning. We have with us James York. Okay. A professional trained saxophonist in the Richmond, Virginia area. He performs smooth jazz, traditional jazz, rhythm and blues, contemporary worship, pop idioms in RVA and all around the Washington DC and Baltimore Metro corridor for almost two decades since relocating to the Mid-Atlantic in 2000. James has performed at the East Coast Jazz Festival at the Kennedy Center, James has been blessed to perform at the Jazz Nativity Production in Richmond, Virginia, and in several churches in the Virginia and DC metro area that features world-class music production. Counterline, I present to you, Mr. James York. Mr. York, Counterline. Dr.
Merry Christmas. Let's give God a hand cap of praise. The Christ child is born, the savior of the world. He even has a name, his name is called Emmanuel. Amen, that means he's with us. We thank God for his Holy Spirit. We thank God celebrating Christ's birthday today. We thank God for our praise and worship on New Year's Eve, amen. At six o'clock, it's gonna be awesome church. It's gonna be powerful, it's gonna be awesome. It's well anointed already. So we pray much that you can be out at six o'clock next Saturday, amen. We, we go, if the devil's around, he got to flee, amen, amen. And then at night at 11.55, join uh, Dr. Tyler and myself. We'll be on prayer line and conference Zoom, on Zoom, amen. We're going to pray, amen. We're going to pray the new year in, amen. All things out and all things can become new. And then we'll have the preach word that Sunday morning. And after that, we will love ye one and another. I just thank God when I look out at the congregation, I see so much love, amen. And I thank God for your love that you show on the day to come out in this cold weather, amen. God, God is too wise to make a mistake. He knows everything. Who looking for better days? Better days, amen. I'm too glad to be sad. I'm too cheery to be worried. I'm too serene to be mean. I'm too grateful to be hateful. I'm too blessed to be stressed. I'm too rich to be poor. I'm too happy to be snappy. I feel good, real good in every way, each and every day. I'm better today than I was yesterday. I'll be better tomorrow than I am today. Give God a five second hand cap of break. Better day. After the choir, you hear from Dr. Tolliver will bring the preach word. God bless. Help me sing Jesus, Jesus, oh, what a wonderful child, Jesus, Jesus, so leave me in my singing new life, new hope, joy he brings, listen to the end, glory, glory, glory to the new. Born, he was harrowed by the angel, born in a lowly manger. Mary was his mother, and Joseph as his earthly father. Three wise men came from afar, guided by a shining star to see Jesus where he lay in a manger filled with hay. Jesus, Jesus, whoa, everybody say, so leave me in my world of life. Listen to the angels, glory, glory, to the new born. Listen, he was harrowed by the angel, born in a lonely manger. Mary was his mother, and Joseph as his earthly father. 
Three wise men come from afar. They were guided by shining stars to see Jesus where he lay in a manger filled with hay. Everybody say, Jesus, what's his name? Singing, oh, what a wonderful child. Singing, Jesus, Jesus, so holy. What new life? Son, help me sing glory. Help me say glory. Help me say glory. One more time, glory to the new born king. Everybody say, come, 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 let us adore him, kneel down, oh, worship him, everybody say, come, oh, come. Come on, say, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, lift your voice and say, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we worship you. worship you everybody say come oh come come let us uh, kneel down oh worship and worship and everybody say come Oh, come, come, let us uh, kneel down. Oh, worship and come on, say, Emmanuel. Lift your voice and say, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, come on, say Emmanuel. God is with us, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, come on, say Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, come on, say, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, Emmanuel, he dwells among his people, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we worship you. Come on, lift those hands. We worship you. We worship you. Yes, we do. He's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. One more time. We worship you. Come on, 
worship him. Come on, worship him. Come on, lift him up. We worship you. Come on, we worship you. Yes, we do. We worship you. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We worship you. Yes, we do. That's the only reason we got out in the cold this morning. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. Oh, come on, give God some praise. This is Jesus' birthday. He gave us a gift that's above every gift. Come on, give God some praise. Stand up on your feet. Give God some praise because he has been too good to you. He gave you a son. His name was Jesus. Come on, let's give God some praise on this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You can remain standing. We're going to go ahead and go to scripture. We praise God for this day. If it wasn't for this day, it's no need for any other day. So we thank God for the gift that he has given us in his son, Jesus the Christ. Thank to our praise team, our gospel choir, Brother Connell. Brother George, our praise dancers. Thank you all, Sister Abby, for coordination. Thank you all so much for coming on out and, and giving us something special today on Christmas. Amen. And thank all of you who did not think it was robbery to stay at home. We come every other Sunday, but this Sunday is a Sunday that we should be in God's house. We thank God for you all. For whatever reason that God brought you here, thank you so much. Let's turn to Matthew chapter one, verse 18 through 25. And I know I stand between you and your family and your brunches. So let me just hurry on. If you give me a couple of amens, we're going to get on up out of here. Matthew chapter one, verses 18 through 25. And I'll be coming from the New Living Translation. And when you have a say amen. This is how Jesus the Messiah was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly. So he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David. The angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And she will have a son and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel which means God is with us. Verse 24. When G uh, Joseph woke up, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded and took Mary as his wife. But he did not have sexual relations with her until her son was born. And Joseph named him Jesus. Let us pray. Holy and wise God, we just thank you, God, for this opportunity to preach your word. Now, God, I ask you to strengthen me now. That people will see none of me, but all of you. We thank you, God, for this day, for the gift that you have given us in your son, Jesus the Christ. Have your way, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we do pray. Let the church say amen. As you take your seat, if you could tell your neighbor the title of this message, what had happened was. What had happened was. Amen. What had happened was, what had happened was, is how usually a untrue story starts off. The story of Jesus' birth sounds like one of those, what had happened was. Let's look at Luke 
1 and 30, and just to give a backdrop of Mary's situation. The angel Gabriel appears to engage Mary and tells her she will become pregnant. So Mary, I'm pregnant, goes to stay with her cousin Elizabeth for three months. After three months, engaged Mary is found to be pregnant. All right, let me say that again. The angel of the Lord appeared to Gabriel, uh, the angel Gabriel appeared to uh, engage Mary and tells her she will become pregnant. So Mary, unpregnant, goes to stay with her cousin Elizabeth for three months. After three months, the engaged Mary returns and she's pregnant. Somebody say scandalous. Olivia Pope couldn't even work this one out. What had happened was, found me after three months, it was evidence that Mary's pregnant and she didn't swallow a watermelon. Today, we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If this day did not happen, there will be no need for Easter or Resurrection Sunday. The Christmas lights, the songs, the gifts are all nice. But really, because God saw fit to bring the second Adam, his son, Jesus the Christ, through 42 generations to save you and me, this is why we celebrate today, Christmas. The title listed in many of our Bibles for this pericope is the birth of Jesus. The title appears that the main point of this text is Jesus and his birth. The reality is, is that the focus of this text is Jesus' birth, but more about the circumstances that surround his birth. Many of us would like to skip over to where we find baby Jesus wrapped up in a manger in swaddling clothing, but there was a situation before we got to the manger. Jesus' birth is an exciting time, but the circumstances surrounding his upcoming birth, the verdict is still out on that one. What had happened was, if we are reading the biblical text correctly, this text is really between Joseph and God. Yes, we celebrate the birth of Christ on today, but maybe God is trying to draw some attention to you and him. Normally a happy occasion, the birth of a child, turns out to be not so happy occasion, at least in this beginning. Why would the author of the scripture decide to birth the Savior in the world like this? It would have been easy to have Mary and Joseph get married and have a child, but no, that ain't what happened. There was a plan that God had in his mind that he allowed this situation to work out just like this. Have you ever wondered why God allows certain things to happen or he didn't step in at certain times in your life or, or maybe he was there all the time and we just didn't know he was there? Today, let's see what we can learn about the setup that God orchestrated so that you and me may be saved. Because this was already a sticky situation. Y'all see it in the text. It put Joseph in a place that he would not normally have been in. He is in a place to have to make decisions that he would not normally have to make. It may have even raised some questions in his mind. Joe's ability to think and figure out, how am I supposed to handle this now? The woman that I love is pregnant. And she says she's pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Now, what kind of story is this? This sounds like a <laughs> what had happened was. God has a way of working out what had happened was situation. The wildest and the craziest thing, God can still work it out. Let's see it in the text and we're going to move on out of here. And so the first thing that we see in the text, that through it all, you must stay righteous. Stay righteous. Life circumstances can throw us a curveball. No one told us that life will be easy. But they also told us that God did not bring us this far to leave us. Jesus' mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, y'all, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. What had happened was, 
engagement was a legal matter. You were betrothed, and which causes families to be involved in giving money and material things to become one family. This was usually the process that a lot of females started to become even properties to their husbands. We'll leave that for another day. It wasn't there. Don't, don't touch that today. Today, Christmas. <laughs> we haven't opened up gifts yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait on that one. <laughs> but next Sunday. It wasn't like this in today's society where you can be engaged and nobody even know you engaged. You break it off. Nobody knew you were engaged in the first place. But back then, everyone knew your intentions and the expectations was that both of you as individuals that were engaged were going to be virgins until your wedding day, untouched. So if by chance someone was going to call off the engagement, it was almost like a divorce that had to happen. There was no much so much involved and everybody in the family had to get involved if you called off an engagement because it was more of a legal issue. But think about the difficulties of this circumstances. How Joseph must have felt waiting to give his life to this woman and now she shows up pregnant and a baby ain't his. Oh, y'all know. <laughs> this ain't just happening in the text. <laughs> y'all know some folk. On getting married, already married, dating, going together, and somebody popped up pregnant. We'll leave that one to the next Sunday. Well, see, what had happened was Mary had not been with a man, but the Holy Spirit, being a gentle man, impregnated her. How does this story even make sense? With man, things are impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Normally, a pregnancy is a joyous occasion, but what about this one? But it was Joseph's character that allowed him to handle the situation like he did. I don't know how many men are like this. I know women, sisters, I don't know. Somebody showed up, I don't know how we gonna respond. God can allow situations to come into our lives to see how we are going to handle it. Joseph could have easily flipped out, put Mary on blast. But the Bible said Joseph was a righteous man. He was holy in right standing with God. He did not want to disgrace Mary, although he had every right to because she disrespected him. Or at least that's what we say. So he decided to break the engagement off quietly. Somebody say quietly. Y'all know what quietly is. That means you don't call nobody on the phone and you gossip. The news beats you to the house before you get to the house. I'm talking about quiet stuff. We keep our mouth zipped. Know how much, how difficult this situation was. Joseph was and remained righteous. We know that stuff happens in our lives. The situation didn't make Joseph righteous. He was already righteous. Perhaps that is why God used him to be the human father to Jesus. It rains on the just as well as the unjust. Maybe you were chosen to carry out the burden because God knows your character. He knows that you can handle it. That's why he took you through that. I know we don't know why he did this to me. I know it feels like I lost everything. I know we don't know why it hurts so bad. I know we don't know the whole story. But it is not about the situation as much as it is about you going through the situation. Tell somebody, stay righteous. Stay righteous. Just maybe. That is why Joseph was selected to be the part of the birth of Jesus. Joseph's minding his own business and God picks him to be part of the destiny of Jesus Christ. God could have easily not used Joseph and did this totally with Mary or picked another man altogether. But there was something in the makeup of Joseph's character that God knew that he could trust Joseph to do the right thing. Can God trust you to do the right thing? Nah. When things get tough, can he trust you to stay righteous to do the right thing? Even when it looked like Joseph was on his way of because he was being mistreated and he was cheated on, he still stayed 
righteous. We also can learn from this text that Joseph was obedient. The Bible says that Joseph considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord confirmed what Mary had already told Joseph. And the angel said, don't be afraid. Somebody need to be asked this morning, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? God told you to do something. Why are you afraid? There can be a cost and a blessing to being obedient. What God is asking Joseph to do before his marriage is a big step. We stayed around in the relationship a little bit longer after we feel that we have made some investment. But Mary and Joseph were just getting married. And now they're having to deal with something that's crazy, wild, big. The consequences of being obedient. Do we talk about being obedient? But there is some consequences to it. Joseph, what would the people say? What would the family say? What would they think that both of you were unfaithful? Were you unfaithful to God? You supposed to have been virgins. The stoning that could have came, you could have been stoned to death. The, 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 the consequences of the obedience. And then there's blessing in the obedience. The Bible said the obedience is better than what? Sacrifice. The reward outweighs the cost. There may be many characters in the Hall of Fame that sacrificed a lot to be obedient to God. Peter, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Levi, a lot, just to name a few. For God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So don't be afraid of what God is telling you. Just be obedient. And finally, it's all part of the plan. Verse 21, you warming up, warming up. And she will have a son, verse 21, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sin. When the naming of a child was done, that authority was given to the father. The angel of the Lord told Joseph, when this child is born, you will have all the rights and responsibilities of a father. So you name him. Although the circumstances may not have been comfortable, but it was part of the plan. God knew all along that Joseph was part of Jesus' destiny. Joseph's character was right, and God knew when things got rough, Joseph would be obedient and do the right thing. When things get rough, God needs to know that he has put inside of you for you to do the right thing when it gets tough. Once the baby was born, Joseph would take on the legal rights of being the father to this young boy, and his name is Jesus. Joseph had the responsibility of giving this boy the most powerful name in the world. The name in the Hebrew means the Lord is our salvation. The angel knew who the boy would be. It may have been a little sick, sticky situation, but Joseph couldn't have been skipped. But Joseph was needed for the equation. He would have awesome, the awesome responsibility for rearing up Jesus, the one who saves you and me. So thank you, Joseph. You were righteous and obedient. You didn't bow out. You stayed in the game because the one who you name is named Jesus. The world now knows him. He will be Lord of Lord and kings of kings. And the government will rest upon his shoulders. Joseph, you will name him Jesus. We know him as Prince of Peace, Lily of the Valley, Bright and Morning Star. Joseph, you will name him Jesus. We know him as a will in the middle of the will, a lawyer in the courtroom, a doctor in the sick room. Joseph, you will name him Jesus. We know him as Mary's little baby, the good shepherd, God's child. Joseph, you will name him Jesus. We know him as the bread of life, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega. Joseph, you will name him Jesus. We know him as a deliverer, the everlasting father, Emmanuel, Joseph, the name him Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. Pastor has to bow. Diabetes has to. Has to bow. High blood pressure has to bow. 
at the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus. He's the one who saved you. He's the one who stopped the automobile. He's the one who brought you out. He's the one that saved your child, Jesus. He's the one who made a way out of no way. He's the one who stretched your finances. He's the one that watched over your children, Jesus. That's his name. That's his name. That's his name. The name that is above every name. The name is Jesus. Do you know him this morning? Have you called him in the midnight hour? When you didn't know what to do, which way to turn, you were tired, you were defeated, you were depressed. You called his name, Jesus. I need you, Jesus. I need you in the noonday. I need you in the midnight. I need you in the morning, Jesus. The Prince of Peace, Jesus. The bright and morning star, Jesus. The lily of the mother, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. Somebody's going through this morning. We need you, Jesus. Something happens when you call his name. Just call his name, Jesus. If you need anything this morning, just call his name, Jesus. 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 We thank you, God. Because you gave us your son, Jesus. It was nothing that we did. We're not perfect. We're filthy rags. We haven't arrived. But it's all because of you that we made it this far. Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Through it all. Do it all. When you're motherless. When you're fatherless. When you don't have a sister. Don't have a brother to call on Jesus. 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 